Well, there she is, representing years of hard work. Now we can sit back and enjoy the first flight. Just so long as security isn't relaxed. You people are all the same. Don't you ever forget about hidden cameras and microphones and funny little foreign agents in black hats? I wish they were like that. There's been no security breach so far, and I intend to make sure there isn't one at this late stage. you never to call me here. All right, all right. I'll be there as soon as possible. Yes, goodbye. Good evening, Mr. Masden. Good morning would be more correct, De Groot. It's 2 a.m. Why you pick these unearthly hours for our meetings escapes me. Maybe it is to try and retain a little intrigue. Espionage isn't what it used to be. You make me sick, De Groot. Yes, I believe I do, but then we all have our problems. Mine is the XK4. Do you have the photographs? Here. Yeah. Ah, yeah, magnificent. If you're satisfied? Of course. We'll contact you when we need you. Goodbye, gentlemen. Good morning, Mr. Madston. He seemed his usual heavy self. It's understandable. No one likes being blackmailed. Look at this. A perfect shot of a top secret aircraft taken in broad daylight from a couple of hundred feet above a maximum security air base. <laughs> And you say that someone is taking high-definition aerial photographs of the XK-4? There's no possible doubt they're being offered on the international espionage market. But Crayford is a restricted airspace. 
No unauthorized aircraft of any kind is allowed within 50 miles. And if one did stray into the area, the radar would pick it up immediately. I know all that. Nevertheless, our man in Beirut was offered a perfect shot of the XK-4 taken from no more than 250 feet. I just can't see how it can be done. It's certainly baffling. Have you any leads at all? Well, Central Control tell me the man peddling the information is named De Groot. Ah, De Groot. I know him. One of the old school. But he would only be the contact man. I don't mind telling you, the Air Force is worried. It's got to be stopped. Leave it with me. I understand the situation. What do you intend to do? I think I know just the man for the job. <laughs> Yes, of course. The whole thing is perfectly clear to me. Yes, your wishes will be carried out. Goodbye. Goodbye, did you say, Father? Uh, oh, Mrs. Appleby, yes, a very goodbye, yes. Uh, ten pounds for a grandfather clock in working order. I'd say there was excellent value for money. Um, uh, call Matthew for me, will you, Mrs. Appleby? We're going out. All right, Father. Going out? He's only just come in. But if they know where the group operates from, why don't the authorities simply arrest him? Because, Matthew, we are after a bigger fish. A fish with a camera. Matthew, are you all right? Yes, I'm fine. Can you see the house? Yes. There's just one light in a downstairs window. Well, make yourself comfortable, Matthew. It could be a long vigil. While nightly sings the staring owl. To wit, to woo, a merry note. I see you know your Shakespeare, Matthew. I know I'm getting cramp. Hold on. Deliverance may be near. Father, there's a car pulled up outside the house. A silver grey Mercedes. A visitor at 2 a.m.? <laughs> Can you see the registration? No, I can't make it out. The angle's wrong. No matter. Come down, Matthew. We'll wait at the end of the road and follow our night bird when he leaves. This had better be important, De Groot. It is. We've been given an assignment to destroy the XK4 prototype. Destroy it? Yes. We need more pictures, as close as possible. You'll have to organize another run over the base. I won't do it. Someone could be injured, even killed. I've paid for my mistake over and over again. This is the last uh, favor we will ask. Do this, and you're off the hook. I give you my word. I know how much that's worth. I know, but then you don't really have a choice, do you? It'll take time. You have three days. Have no fear on that score, Matthew. They don't build cars like Gabriel today. Hmm. He does seem to have a very slight advantage acceleration-wise. Marginal, I'd say. I took the precaution of writing down the registration number. JPK459C. We can get the address from that tomorrow. Good work, Matthew. Hold on. I'm taking her up to 50 miles per hour. Yes, Father.
I rang to tell you that the first flight of the XK-4 has been brought forward to the day after tomorrow. I see. And I'm still worried sick about the security leak. How's your operative doing? He has made a little progress. A little progress? Time's running out. You sure you have the right man on the job? I'm sure we have the right man. In fact, I'd go so far as to say that he's a man and a half. Are you ready, Matthew? Ready. Now, do you have the address of the owner of the Mercedes? Yes, Father, I have it here. Good. Then we are ready to begin our little investigation in earnest. Into the case, and we'll be on our way. Matthew, uh, what was the name of the owner of the Mercedes? John Masden, father. He's a respectable figure in the city. Plenty of money, no criminal record. Mm-hmm. He appears to be an unlikely candidate for espionage work. However, we shall see. Someone is answering the door. Right, Father. Mr. Marston? Yes? Good morning. My name is Unwin, Father Unwin. Uh, I'm afraid I'm not a religious man. I also happen to be very busy, and maybe some other day. One second, please. My business concerns your Mercedes. I had hoped not to involve the police. Well, uh, you'd better come in. Thank you. We'll go in here. Ah, thank you very much. Now, what a charming residence you have here. All right, Matthew, the coast is clear. Now, what is this all about? It's about the demon speed. Now, I happened to find myself behind you on the road last night, and I'm afraid you were exceeding the speed limit, my son. I know how easy it is. I have a high power... Nothing so far, Father. Myself. I'm going to try the garden. Are there to be observed, you know. Imagine... Yes, Father. Think of a person of advanced years, an old lady taking her little dog for a walk. in the garden. Excuse me. One moment. You're forgetting the message of my visit to most. More haste and less speed. You follow me? Uh, frankly, no. Well, let me put it to you this way. I I've really not got time. As you speed it along the Roma surface there, all gritty, swervy most and upside down. All I must go. All over the road, all terrible and disaster scraven. Yes, yes, I, I know. Plaster levers, all broken ear droves. Oh, folly, Terry Bold. I agree. I, I must go. Are you all right, Matthew? Just about. But a Great Dane looks pretty big and frightening when you're my size. I'm sure it does, Matthew. Now, listen. 
Masden is coming out into the garden, and I'm going to take the opportunity to have a look round upstairs. As soon as you can, get back into the case. What is it, Kruger? Heel! Heel, Kruger, heel! Into the house, Kruger. Miniature cameras, so that's what he uses. But how does he do it? That's the problem. Stand by. Now! How much did you use? Half a cc. On the real attack, we'll be using 10 cc's in each bomb. Did you give the harnesses to Mazden? Yes. And I told him on no account to open the cameras as they are fitted with. A very special film. Well, Matthew, I think we are a little nearer solving the mystery of the photographs, but we still have a long way to go. Yes, Father. The only thing I seem to have established is that Masden is a bird lover. He has everything out in that garden. Doves, pigeons, canaries, budgies. Yes, Matthew. All we can do is think and plan, as I'm sure others are doing. Yeah, we've completed the ground trials. Tomorrow morning's it. And your security arrangements are finalized. Yeah, we've done everything we can this end. It's up to your man now. Don't worry. He won't rest till he comes up with the answer. How, Matthew? How? There must be a way. We've been sitting here all night, Father. And I still have absolutely no idea how anyone could fly over a top-secret airfield and not be spotted. If they flew under the radar... But then they would be easily seen from the ground. 200 feet, it's so low. To it, to woo, a merry note. What did you say, Father? It's nearly dawn. That old owl is going home to sleep. The homing instinct. That's it! Pigeons! Father, we've solved it! Those photographs were taken from pigeons fitted with cameras. Mm. Mazden has a loft full. It'd be difficult. Yes, but with special cameras, very careful plotting of their homing flight, remote control shutters, released from a position where their homing flight would take them over the airfield. I knew this moment had to come. Blackmail, my son? Yes. I suspected something of the kind. The point is, what does De Groot have planned for this morning? They've taken the pigeons to get more shots of XK4. But why? They already have more than they need. There must be something else. <laughs> One of the pigeons hurt its wing. I had one camera spare. What's this inside? Oh, some special fast film. De Groot fitted it to the mall. Fast film, my eye. I think, Mr. Masden, you had better tell us everything you know. And quickly, if you don't mind. Let's just hope we're in time, Matthew. Bombers airborne. Yes, Bishop, that is exactly the situation. The XK-4 is under attack from a flock of pigeons. Well, if you say so, I'll pass the information on.
There's de Groot's car. He must be up on the hill. You did say pigeons. Right. Get the XK-4 back in the hangar and see if you can pick up a flock of pigeons. They're about to attack this airfield with high explosives. And he's supposed to be from intelligence. De Groot. Huh? Who are you? I'm afraid I must insist you hand over that control unit. Over my dead body. That won't be necessary, Matthew. Getting away, Father. Let him go, Matthew. The police can pick him up later. Quickly, get the control box. <laughs> Hurry, Matthew. Here come the leaders. I found it. Good work, Matthew. Now, this will take careful timing. Wait. Wait. Now. Here comes another batch. Stand by. Steady. Now. seen it with my own eyes. I think you'll find this contains the document that enabled De Groot to blackmail you. I haven't opened it. I don't know what to say. It was one silly, stupid mistake. Please say no more. I believe every man is entitled to at least one mistake. But he should try to learn from his mistake and be a better man. Do it, 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 do it,